Well, speaking of reaching out for help and knowing where to go for things, the next session I was asked to prepare was for product documentation. Now, fortunately, Jen has taken us through a lot of stuff about our community documentation today. So this will be a quick review. But before we do anything else, if you don't already have these links bookmarked, we do recommend that you bookmark these ones. For example, Jen mentioned how important the calendar is, and we really can't emphasize that enough. We do have a lot of folks who come to us and say, hey, I'm looking for support on like um, general development, or I'm having issues with the platform version 2.3 and so on. There are usually every week community support sessions that you could join to unpack that if you want to talk it through with someone uh, directly. The om.rs cal link will even automatically change to your time zone. So you can see that for me, it automatically changes to Pacific time. So you can see that our call today is at 5 a.m. for me. All right. Uh, all right. Um, the next link to bookmark is, as Jen showed you, the OpenMRS forum, which we call Talk. And that link is just talk.openmrs.org. Uh, Jen gave a great example of searching through talk when you have a question, because often the question you have may have already been answered. So for example, um, let's do a search. Uh, recently, I was having an issue with attachments. And so I would search for attachments and see, oh, hey, look, someone just a few months ago in 2023 did a post about creating an attachment. Um, so I might see, did their question get answered? Is it similar to mine? If it's not similar, then I might post my own um, my own topic. All right, back to documentation. And last but not least is our Slack. And if you go to this link, it will help you sign up for the OpenMRS Slack. I'll leave this page open for just one more moment so that folks can note down those links if they need to. And again, um, I will share... I'll just copy the link right now. Here is the link for everyone to this presentation. So you will have access to these links at any time. Jen's walked us through a lot of these major documentation areas. So that's great. Um, the first one to be aware of is our wiki. Uh, so there's so much you can find in our wiki. We've got a lot of documentation. For example, you might remember on day one, we looked a bit at the administrator tools together. And there's all kinds of guidance available for different components of how the OpenMRS application works, how you can develop it, how you can use it, and so on. Um, there's the product roadmap, which Jen has walked you through, as well as things like the squad dashboard, what squads are active right now, who's doing what, which organizations are leading a given squad, and so on. Major doc. Okay, so um, as Jen mentioned, we are improving our wiki very soon. Right now, uh, our current wiki is on a very old version of Atlassian Confluence, which is the product we use to host our wiki. So we'll be upgrading that soon, and the wiki will look a lot nicer and easier to use. In the meantime, as a stopgap, our newer documentation specifically for people configuring and developing with O3 is living in its own place. Eventually we will move that into the main wiki, but for now, this is where you would find, until, until our big improvement project this year, um, you can find O3 specific guidance here. So for example, um, we've received some questions in the chat here just over the last few days about what do I need to know specifically to work on O3? That's answered here, prerequisite knowledge and links to different courses and things you could do if you really wanna touch up your JavaScript and React and TypeScript skills. Um, we've received questions about how do I configure different languages like Spanish or Chinese? And you can find guidance about that there as well. And there's additional uh, developer specific guidance like what kinds of coding conventions do I need to follow if I'm making PRs for O3? And Jen also mentioned our issue tracker. You may have used Jira before or other tools like Asana um, or even just Trello. It's a way of logging. We need to do X, Y, or Z task. The nice thing about our issue tracker is that it gives us a lot of different dashboarding views. 
So for example, one that we are using a lot in the OpenMRS3 squad project is this timeline view. Here you can see where we are today in January, and you can see we're actually planning a ref app release before the end of the month. And so there are different squads working on different epics with different issues and tasks. And we're trying to make sure that people are ready to get their work into the next community release. We've obviously covered the UX and UI guidelines, but one more time in case uh, you didn't get them earlier, here are the two links to both the UI pattern library and the uh, design folders and detailed style guide. All right, those were, uh, that was the main thing for documentation. If I've forgotten something, I'm sure I'll come back to me in the next few minutes. 